B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. I'm Sarvinas from B2B Cambodia, and today we're with Dr. Sarodin Alavipana from GIZ. Uh, the German Agency for International Cooperation is an international enterprise, also known as the GIZ, owned by German federal government, and they participate in a lot of uh, fields and projects around the world. So to start off, can you tell us more about GIZ and how did this project with Bantamiche province came about and what was GIZ's involvement? GIZ is a federal owned uh, company enterprise with a headquarter in Bonn and Eschborn. However, uh, projects are worldwide active. Uh, GIZ has uh, in over 120 countries uh, offices uh, within different projects. Uh, so we initially started with this project um, in the beginning of 2020. So it was uh, the Regional Economic Development number four, so RET4. And uh, then later it was continued with, which is the current uh, project uh, with ICON and um, with the, the director of the, of the program is Dr. Stefan Hanselmann. And uh, this is how we started also our collaboration with, uh, with our partner, the Provincial Administration of Bantamiche. Uh, what were the main goals of this project? And uh, I understand the project is involved with Bantamiche Provincial Administration investment website, mm -hmm. right? Uh, can you tell us what was the main goal of this? Sure. Um, so the initial, as, as mentioned, we started with RED. So the aim and the objective of RED was to improve uh, the economic situation in the province, in, in Bantaminche. And the successor, which is the ICON, the, the objective and the focus of the program is um, how to use, so it's like more towards the private sector and how we can improve the situation uh, with the um, private sector by using also digital skills, uh, improving these enterprises, national enterprises within Cambodia. So, in fact, the website is the uh, is the tipping of the iceberg. Mm. Uh, so we're just illustrating or presenting and sharing, um, um, or in other words, we are democratizing the data which is available in the province with uh, not only with the public, but as well as with uh, whomever is interested in investing in Bantaminche. Is it a national enterprise, an, uh, an investor in Cambodia, neighboring countries or, uh, or worldwide? Well, uh, I've checked the website and it's uh, really very data driven and very interesting. It shares so much insight about Bantaminche. And have you seen a similar requests from other provinces? Saying that we had the request, no. However, um, before the Kumai New Year, interestingly, we had a, a meeting with the steering committee um, um, with CDC. Mm -hmm. And this was also, so all the, the provinces were also the, the Northwestern uh, provinces, Siem Reap, um, Bantem Minche, and Batamba was also present. And uh, so this was also presented as a product of Bantem Minche, how Things are now being published um, uh, and how we support the decision making of the province mm -hmm. uh, with this geospatial technology. And uh, CDC was the one that asked actually the other provinces to have also something similar. Uh, how do you feel the website, as you mentioned, it taps into so many industries and so much data is driven. How do you feel the website taps into un, uh, undiscovered uh, or untapped potentials? So we have the knowledge and we have the tool, but we need always to, to work closely with the people that uh, have the, gr the knowledge on the ground, like uh, the provincial administration, the governor, the deputies or uh, people in GIZ, in order to understand in which directions the, interesting, the interests uh, are. But after the initial uh, um, analysis, we understood that there are three main um, sectors uh, which we can prioritize in the province. One was agro-processing, tourism and manufacturing. And we have also additional information on the website, uh, as you mentioned, which we name it as, as untapped potential. Mm -hmm. So uh, an investor can see the province provides uh, um, labor force. It has uh, plenty of uh, properties and, and land available. If someone wants to come and set up a, a manufacturing 
obviously they need like huge areas mm -hmm. and so on. So these are also uh, uh, certain certain areas which has not been yet um, discovered, so to say. I yeah. see. I see. Uh, can you tell us what challenges were there or interesting data you discovered during this project? Getting to know how to access this data is uh, uh, it's a challenge itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, with the support of the provincial administration itself, um, we understood how, how to overcome this, this, this barrier or this challenge. When I was looking at certain type of uh, certain outcomes, I was not understanding in the very beginning, but then discussing this with, with local colleagues or with uh, the people in the provincial administration, you understand how interestingly the data are expressing things that are really happening on the ground. Mm. Uh, so this, this match of the data and what is really happening on the ground is one of the things that uh, really excited me, I have to say, I have to admit. Well, uh, I've seen the Big uh website uh, and I, we, we will share the link and uh, showcase to our audience. So make sure you check it out, make sure to take a look. And I think it's a great tool and a great uh, opportunity for investors, potential investors to look at it and make a, a great, uh, will be much easier to make your decision based on the data that has been provided on this website. And I hope that we see more of these kind of websites also in the future for other uh, provinces as well. Thank you very much. Sure. Thanks,